In this video you will learn when and how to create super metrics using the this option. Our use case for this video is I need to know the vSphere cluster utilization values as factor and as a percentage metric. Let us first recap what we did in the previous videos. In the last video we basically took all the virtual machines belonging to a certain group like for example an application, determined the maximum CPU ready value of the corresponding metric and assigned that new super metric to the higher level application object. In the current use case, we would like to calculate supermetrics and assign them to a vSphere cluster resource, and for these calculations we would like to use metrics of the very same object. And this is where the this option comes into play. As always, the new supermetric needs a name, description is optional but strongly recommended, and there is no unit for factor or ratio value. The this option is activated by clicking on a small blue button. When you're creating a super metric using that option, make sure that this option remains activating during the whole process of creating that super metric. To select the first metric for our formula, CPU demand in megahertz, we follow the known procedure using the control space functionality. Now we divide the value of the first metric by the value of the second metric, the usable CPU capacity. And again, to select that metric, we follow the known procedure. It's always recommended to use the preview function to see if the formula returns correct values. In my case, the formula seems to work, so I can proceed to the next steps. In a legacy view, we see the difference that this option makes. There is no explicit reference to the object type, and there is also no depth value. The object type reference in the formula is exactly the object we would select in the assign step. In the last two steps, we assign the new supermetric to the cluster compute resource object type and enable it in a policy. Now we create a second supermetric and this time we use percent as the unit. We again activate the this option. As usual we use the drop downs for object type and metrics to select the right metrics for our formula and we use brackets to correctly calculate the value in percent. We also quickly test our formula if it's really returning correct values and we double check the formula in the legacy view. As always, the last two steps are assigning the new supermetric to an object type and enabling it in the VROPS policy. After a few collection cycles, we see the new supermetrics appearing on the vSphere cluster objects and we can use them as any other metric in VROPS content. In this video, you have learned when and how to create supermetrics using the this option. In the next video, I will show you when and how to use the if then else statement in vRealize Operation Supermetrics. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you don't miss the next part.